Hello, crafty lovelies. I'm Lainey. Let's start crafting and make a tailor eyes smile. That's what I like to say. I hope you subscribe by clicking that bell. And don't forget, hit all so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's begin, shall we? I'm starting with this old tray that I purchased at Target for $5. As you can tell, it's really stained up and... You know, I, I've already used it, and it's time for a makeover and bring it back to life again. I'm also going to be using this beautiful tissue paper that I found at the Dollar Tree. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my goodness, all the colors are very neutral. I love the green and the green leaves. I don't know, I, I fell in love with this. You'll see me using this throughout the video. I did paint the tray with this acrylic sealant paint from Folk Art and it's in the color of course white and I did one coat through the whole tray but where the letters were I did about two or three coats. Now for the leaf tissue paper where it folds over I just cut a piece of it off and I'm going to put that aside for the rest of the DIYs for this video. Now for the green, I'm just going to tear it all up. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> We're just going to tear up all our tissue paper. And I get the other piece that we had left, and I'm going to cut those and tear them. And I'll be back. Now that I finished tearing all my pieces, I got my Mod Podge, and I put it in a tray, of course. And I'm just going to dip my tissue paper pieces right in that Mod Podge and I'm just going to place it on the bottom of that tray on the inside. Now I started out with placing the green because there's two ways you can do this. You can do what I'm doing right here, place some green and then place some of your leaf pattern. You can do any pattern you like, um, but I really like the way this turned out. So, I don't know, I think it looks so high end and it just turned out gorgeous. So anyway, this right here, you see me put, and I like to get the edges where they're more straight for the sides of the tray, and it places it really easy. And then I just get my finger and I press down on the sides. Now, as I was doing this, I was like, hmm, I'm gonna put all the green first. So I started placing all the green and then after I was done placing the green, I just put where the leaf patterns, I just put them in different spots. Until my heart was singing and my eyes were smiling. <laughs> I let the tray sit for about five, 10 minutes, let it sit for a little bit, and then I came back and I went over the whole top one more time with a thin layer of Mod Podge and then set it aside to let it dry. Oh my gosh, it turned out absolutely beautiful. Okay, crafty lovelies, this video is part of Tissue Paper DIYs collab. I have so much fun joining these girls for some fun challenges. We choose different things for y'all, and oh my goodness, I have so much fun with them. I hope you go check out the playlist in my description box. Click it and go visit all of them for some great Tissue Paper DIYs inspiration. And don't forget, tell them Miss Crafty Lainey sent you. Happy crafting. Now here's DIY number two. I'm gonna begin by using this tissue paper from the Dollar Tree, and you can add it flat if you like, or tear it. And I'm gonna be using this Dollar Tree little house. I'm going to paint it with my sealant white acrylic paint, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of my Hello Hobby Chalk Desert Tan paint with it. After I mixed both paints together, I'm just going to go over the sides and on the inside. As you can tell, I'm not, I don't want it a full, full coverage because I do like to see that wood. I don't know. I really enjoy the natural woods to peek out of what I'm painting. But you can do more coats where it covers the whole thing if you you know it's all optional it's completely totally up to you 
Remember, it's always what makes your heart sing. And what do I always say? What makes your eyes smile. And that's what you do. Now for the back of the house, you can paint the tool where it's brown on the complete back. And if you want it to be more brighter, your paper, but I left it with the brown backing because I still wanted that to peek out from behind the paper. Once I was done, I set it aside and let it dry. Now it's time to Mod Podge. I'm going to take the back of that house and I'm going to put a thin layer of Mod Podge on the whole backing. Once I do that, I grab some green tissue paper and I like to use the smooth edges where it's straight lines onto the sides. And then I just put them all over in the middle to cover the whole backing. I'm gonna then take the leaf paper and I'm gonna put it right on top of that green. Once I place that, I'm gonna put all the Mod Podge on top. And if there's a little part I want to be, you know, I see a little spot and I think, hmm, I'm gonna add another piece. This is the time to do it. All I do is I add the Mod Podge on top and then I'm just gonna add that piece and put a little bit more Mod Podge on top of that to seal it. Now for the other side, I'm going to do the same process, but only with the green tissue paper. While that's drying, I'm gonna grab these little round disc, they're wood disc, I call them disc, little round circles, and I got these from Walmart. I'm gonna take one of those and I'm gonna paint it with my Folk Art Sealant Acrylic White Paint. Once it was dry, I grabbed one of these I love these rub-on stencils. They're from Dollar Tree, and I like that it has a bunch of different little words. And you can mix and match and put what you want on, you know, anything you like. But I like this. It says, love you, fam. <laughs> and I'm just going to place it right on top. I cut them out, the words I chose, and I'm just going to place them where I want. And don't press hard yet. You place them first. You move them around where you want it to be. And once it's there, then you press down. And then I just grabbed my nail and I just scratched on it. You can use the back of a paintbrush, a pencil, an eraser, whatever you like. And you just scratch it on there and then it peels up really nice and easy. If you have a Cricut, you can always print what you want, have it cut out. But this was really easy and I'm always happy with the Dollar Tree rub-ons. After it was placed, I got some more Mod Podge and just sealed it up. I then got Home Decor Chalk Paint in the color Fiddle. <laughs> it's a funny name. Fiddlehead Fern and it's from Folk Art. And I got the Waverly Chalk Moss Paint and I just mixed them both together and went along brushing the sides of the circle. I'm just gonna say the circle, the round plaque. You get what I'm saying. I just go ahead and just get my brush and lightly go around the edges. I love doing this technique. It gives, you know, your your item a like character. It helps it stand out a little more. I don't know, I just think it makes, it looks so pretty and more high end. And most of all, like I said, stands out. So I just add hot glue to the back and I just add it right to the center of my little house. And I put it on the side where the leaves and the green paper, I mixed them both together. I added a cute little flower that I had on hand from the Dollar Tree and some little eucalyptus leaves that I also had. I thought it would look really cute. Can also put some twine around it. Would have looked really pretty around that plaque. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm loving it. So pretty. For the other side of the house, I'm gonna put this cute succulent from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was clip off the stem closest to the flower. 
They have a variety of succulents that you can choose from, but I thought this was perfect. I'm gonna put a generous amount of hot glue right in that center and place it. Voila, done. I love that this is two-sided, so you have something to look at on both sides. Okay, my crafty lovelies, we are at DIY number three. I'm going to tear this tissue paper up that I got from the Dollar Tree. One pack of tissue paper goes a long way, right? So now I'm going to use a, this bottle, and it's a JD bottle. You can use any bottle, wine bottle, a jar, anything. And it always looks so beautiful when you do something like this. I put some Mod Podge down first, and then I'm gonna get those pieces that we tore, and I'm just gonna add it right on top of each other. Some overlapping. I like that overlap look. I think it makes it look so pretty. And what's nice about this bottle is it has it's little edges always remember you you know if it, it has an edge use it for your advantage and that's how i'm making sure i'm leaving the bottom clear and the top clear if you're using a wine bottle you can do the same thing most of the time it has like a little lip on a, a bottle and use that always for your guide So I'm adding some more Mod Podge on the top just to seal it as I'm going along. And if I see any spots that need tissue paper, that's when I add them. And then I just dab it again with some Mod Podge just to seal it up. And I'm gonna continue this all the way around my bottle after it was done i let it set and i'm going to let it dry a little longer and take that cap off i love using treasure gold by folk art oh my goodness plaid makes by folk art by plaid it makes the most beautiful gold shimmer and i'm just going to go over that bottle cap to give it a high-end look. Now I'm gonna take these round circles, these wood circle plaques, again from Walmart, and I'm gonna take one of them out and I'm gonna paint it with my Hello Hobby Chalk Desert Tan Paint. And I'm gonna use these words again from the Dollar Tree. I love these rub-ons. You get to pick different words and mix them up. I think that is so cool. If you have a Cricut, you can have, you know, vinyl cutouts or stickers always work also. But, oh, I love Dollar Tree rub-ons. I think they're simple and easy. You just place it where you want it. And then where you're happy and you're smi your eyes are smiling, Ooh, I got tongue-tied, excuse me. When your eyes are smiling where you have your wording, that's when you press down on it. And then you start to scratch on top. You can use an end of a paintbrush, your fingernail, a quarter. You can use an eraser to a pencil and just rub that lettering off and then once it's placed, and you can always tell because it turns light. And then you peel it slowly up. And if you see something that's not sticking, just put it back down and start scratching on it. And then you just go ahead and pull it right up and there it is. I'm gonna seal it with some Mod Podge. And once it's dry, 
I'm adding some hot glue onto my bottle and placing it right there in the center. Now this twine I got from Walmart. I get it in the floral section. And I also know Dollar Tree carries twine also. You can use nautical rope maybe around here or a ribbon, whatever you like. What makes your eyes smile, it is completely up to you. Once the twine is completely glued around the bottle, I cut it. And when I cut it, I add the other piece to the other one. And I'm just gonna put a touch of glue right on top and I kind of blended the glue in with the other one and press it down with my finger. Careful because the glue is hot. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the bottom. I then decided to add some twine around the neck of the bottle and I just tied it in a knot. I added some large wood beads that I had painted with the home decor chalk paint and the fiddlehead burn color. I trimmed the excess off after I knotted the ends of each twine when I put the bead through. Now I'm gonna get another succulent that I got from the Dollar Tree and I cut off the stem and I glued it right there to the top of the neck. And where the twine is tied around the neck of the bottle, that is where I glued that succulent, just so it sticks to something and adheres better and strong. And here's the results. Oh my goodness, I thought this turned out amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, beautiful. Talk about a trash to treasure, right? Okay, Crafty Lovelies DIY number four. We're gonna begin with using this tuna can or whatever can you have on hand. Remove the label and we're gonna put that label aside for a moment. I painted my cans with Waverly chalk paint in the color moss and I also used Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint in the color Fiddlehead Fern. I mixed both colors up together and the results were absolutely stunning i love this green right gorgeous after it was dry i did get my treasure gold by folk art and i'm just going to go over the rim of the can heavily i want it to be you know more of that gold on the edges and then i went around the can a little bit here and there and on the bottom and on the inside. You just, if you don't wanna do that, you could just do it on the bottom and on the rim. You don't have to really do the inside and the sides because we are gonna cover it with some of the tissue paper. Now, for the label, we're gonna take that label that we put aside, and this is the easy way of doing your tissue paper. We're going to measure from one end to the other and then we're going to trace our tissue paper and then cut the size so it's perfectly fitted around the can i hope that makes sense to you it's the easiest way to do it look at me yep of course i did it the hard way and i just try to eyeball it <laughs> and when i did that it came out a little short but that's okay because you know what you just keep going, moving forward, and work with it. And that's what I did. And I'm gonna place it right underneath the lip of that can. I added a just a slightly thin coat of Mod Podge. And then I placed the strip that I had cut from the tissue paper and wrapped it around. I trimmed the excess from the bottom and a little piece went on the part that I had cut too short, which was really an easy fix. I just cut a little piece of that tissue paper and placed it right on that spot. And then I'm just gonna seal it up with some more Mod Podge. 
That can I'm gonna leave alone. I'm not even gonna put tissue paper on it because I wanted them each to have two different looks. Now the one with the tissue paper, I decided to paint two of those large wood beads gold and the other two with the fiddlehead fern color in the chalk paint to match the bottle we just did. Now we're gonna add some moss inside our cans. I just put some hot glue on the bottom and on the sides in the inside of the can and added some of the Spanish moss and then some of this sponge moss. Spanish moss I got from the Dollar Tree and the sponge moss I got from Hobby Lobby. And you just need a very, just a little bit. It doesn't even take very much. You can put rocks, river stones, sand, whatever you like in them, but I chose to use the moss. So after I mixed it all in there, see how pretty? Oh, I just love it. I'm gonna add this succulent in there. I did cut the stem off this one also. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree has a variety of succulents to choose from, and they are actually really pretty. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other can. I'm gonna put some glue around the sides, on the inside, on the sides, and the bottom, and I'm just gonna put some more of that moss in there. And I mix it with that sponge moss, and I kind of put a little bit of glue on top of the moss and then bring some more moss on top. Now look at, see, different variety, so pretty. I just put some hot glue on that tip and put it right in the can. Look at how gorgeous. And you know the gold shimmer where the tissue paper is, it kind of, when the light hits it, you can just see slightly that gold behind that tissue paper and it looks so high end and so stunning. But look at this, is that not beautiful? I picture it outside in a patio. Oh, we gotta light our candles. In your garden by where you have a little table and you sit and have some tea. You could put it on a coffee table, an ottoman. Isn't that beautiful? From the tray to the succulents, you can even use one of those cans to put a candle in if you like. Oh, beautiful. I'm so happy, my eyes are smiling and my heart is singing, especially with that little house because you can, if you're looking at it from behind, you still have that succulent on the back of that house. So it's like two-sided. I love that. So you just don't see that plain back of that house. It is decorated also. So if you don't want to have it facing the wording and you want the wording on the other side, just flip it over and there you have a different look. Oh, I'm in love with this. All this with some Mod Podge and one pack of tissue paper. And it was so much fun to create. I hope you enjoyed this video. My lovelies, please give this video a big thumbs up. I so appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. It was my pleasure crafting with you, crafty lovelies, today. I hope you subscribe. I love for you to be part of my Crafty Lini World family. Don't forget, hit that bell and click all so you're notified every time I upload a new video. You can visit me at Crafty Lini on my social media. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Hugs, kisses, and fairy dust wishes. Stay blessed, be kind, be kind to yourself and others. I'll see you in my next video.